I'm going to tell you a story. But the first thing you have to understand is time doesn't work the way you think it does. Especially with this story. Call me Oracle, because I'm the one that's talking to you. Welcome to Cult. This is yet another special Booty Tickled and True. Kitty, I love you, but I'm busy. So. I'm extraordinarily pissed at this idiot of a cousin of mine that dream projected into my body. So, idiot of a cousin of mine. Want uh, to tell all of them why the one who actually, you know, didn't move into this house like three years ago, as opposed to like, you know, like six or seven? Does, uh, do you uh, want to tell? All of them, why the little idiot that uh, basically tried to move in here like three years ago and never move out. Do you want to tell uh, everyone why the dude who's been here the whole time is pissed at you? Um. Uh, oh, well, you know what? Before we get into why I'm pissed, we're going to get into something that's actually funny about this idiot. So, idiot cousin of mine, you know that I have a tattoo. And you thought I actually didn't know that you had a tattoo, too. Now, this idiot... Has like a tramp stamp style. A sa yeah. Papanava. Dvadakarana. Which means he has a fake thug life tattoo. Now, what is a fake thug life tattoo? It's one where there's a W instead of an H. Probably because his name. <coughs> Being a cousin of mine is Williams, so he created his own twug life. So, oh, Grand Twuggy, Maharaja of Diptwardia, do you uh, do you want to talk talk about twug life? Or do you want to talk about why I'm pissed at the one who came up with Twug Life to begin with, who obviously can't be me because I don't have that tramp stamp? The levels of, like, sudden realization of how screwed he is that just appeared in, like, my awareness of my cousin through my own eyes in the camera is actually kind of breathtaking. It really is. Speaking of breathtaking, do you want to get into that uh, that reason why I'm pissed at you? You dumb little idiot. Or do we want to circle back to Twug Life? Because we can cir circle back to Twug Life if you want. Where did I put that lighter? <laughs> anyway, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's talk about Twug Life. Whoa, 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 Twogzilla, the Twogmaster General. Oh, well, now the, now the Twognagara, that is to say, of New Twog City. Oh, hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You idiot Twog, you've been trying to invade and steal my body for the past three years. And you think I didn't pick up all of your idiocy in terms of knowing how to mess with you? You're you're really actually as stupid as I've come to realize in the past three years, huh? Oh, that's right. Yesterday you actually confessed that you're like straight up didn't actually believe that that. Oh, by the way, I'm going to actually. So if you saw the last video, you might be aware that my idiot cousin seems to believe that dream projecting as in going to sleep 
and then projecting your consciousness from your dreams using yoga dasana dream state yoga into the still awake consciousness of someone who is not just awake but awake enough to film a video is somehow not idiotic well here's the problem with that it's so idiotic i'm actually literally going to need to pray for a miracle to get this to end for like him like twug life literally needs me to pray for a miracle for him to like fully wake up in his own body which is an interesting point he probably actually doesn't want to do you want to get back to why you don't want to go back to your own body does it have to do with part of why i'm pissed at you to begin with and maybe a consequence is back at your body for being here at all? Did you just say you're in so much trouble with someone, Jonathan? David? So Jonathan David, you're my cousin. And my child's name, the one I took care of for a while, it's named Dade, it means son of David. You seem to have an unhealthy obsession with a child you've never met, Jonathan David. Um, see what I'm talking about here, folks? Mind-boggling stupid. Mind-boggling stupidity. So, um, this little idiot, Jonathan David, went ahead and did something terrible in terms of wronging his mother. That's why I'm so angry at him. And I have, with this, um, called for a day of truth for her because uh, just because, because people deserve truth. And in one idiot's case, whether or not they think they deserve it. Come on, Dwugsy. Are you going to do anything other than just, like, assume you're in control until you uh, realize that you're straight up busted and you go all, like, worse than, like, worse than deer cotton headlight, just, like, worse than, like, Murga, Mur just a, worse than a stuck Murga, like, I, I, I'm, um, I, uh, I really, I, are you joking about thinking you need an actual miracle to get me to wake up in my body? Nope. Not a joke. That's too stupid to be funny. I'm probably going to do it, like, in, like, 20 minutes or so. Which point? You're, you're not messing with me. Are you the Twugmeister General? Are you the Twug? Like Twugzilla? Like Twug Life? Supposing I am? Yeah, then I'm definitely not messing with you. <sighs> wow. That's a breathtaking amount of stupid. David, you really don't understand how, like, Jonathan David, you don't understand how painful it was over the course of the past three years having you trying to, like, occupy my brain and, like, use it for yourself because, like, you're so stupid. Like, it was literally painful sometimes. And considering what you did to yourself, it seems more than likely that this idiot Jonathan David actually might have done this to other people. Like, besides me. I don't mean like, I don't mean like moving their body for like three years. That's someone who already had their own body. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, um, if he tried going into the not asleep mind of me. 
And he figured, I don't before. Let me find if I do it again. And then just kept doing it for like three years. There's a fair chance he's just been there already. Whether or not you know it. And if it's obnoxiously stupid, it's almost certainly him. So. Apparently. My idiot cousin. Is so grotesquely evil. That for reasons. Um, that for reasons. He actually wants his own mother to undergo the Terrison Dylan Dixon experience. Which is not meant for, like, someone who's just, like, a person who hasn't done anything wrong. Those who haven't watched the other video, it involves having your teeth removed without anesthetic and with enough paralytics so it feels like you're drowning on dry land. And my idiot cousin wants to do this to his own mom. And whether or not he accepts that. That means. He wants to do that to my family. And. Uh, that's not something I'm going to let slide. Because I don't think that's something anyone would let slide. Now, a couple of people have had some heated comments on like, no, like, I get it. But I think, like, the people who have had, like, the worst stuff to say about me, they wouldn't let that slide. Like, John Agua, you'd never let that slide. You wouldn't. I believe that. I just do. All right. Me and uh, Plugmeister General are going to go for 